On this episode, we take you backstage with Star's new drama series, Power Book 2, Ghost, a follow-up to the Star's hit series, Power. Leading actor Michael Rainey Jr. and hip-hop legends Mary J. Blige and Meth Man join us on the show to take us backstage with a highly anticipated spinoff series that picks up just a day after the Power finale, where we see Tyreek navigating a new life and going against insurmountable odds to save his family. I got me, I'm gonna be the leader, like number one. So when 50 first told me, I didn't even believe him because like, you know, 50 is a jokester. So I was just like, yeah, whatever. And two weeks after, Courtney tells me and I'm like, oh, so it's real, like, this is it. Click the subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date with all the backstage interviews with your favorite stars. This is Backstage with the cast of Stars, Power Book 2, Ghost. This is one of the most anticipated series Everybody's looking forward to this one, including myself. Power, which is so amazing. And now you're doing it, man. Is there is there pressure to that? Oh um, man, it's def- it was definitely a lot of pressure when I first when I first was told that I was gonna be, you know, part I was gonna be lead of the of the one of the series. So I was just like, damn, like I got me, I'm gonna be the lead, like number one. So when 50 first told me, I didn't even believe him because like, you know, 50 is a jokester. So I was just like, yeah, whatever. And two weeks after, Courtney tells me, and I'm like, oh, so it's real. Like, this is it. So once once I, once I she told me, I, I definitely felt a lot of pressure on me. But honestly, like, after the first week of, you know, filming, all that pressure was gone because, you know, like my crew, I, it was a lot of old faces from the original series that came back. And then also even the new faces, part of the cast and everything, like, they just made, they just made everything so easy for me, you know, like, as far as just me just getting used to, you know, being, you know, basically you know quarterbacking the whole thing like they made it they made it very easy for me to get used to and we're all super cool so like the chemistry is is there and um yeah like it's it's, it's honestly amazing now. I was definitely nervous before but you no know, I got used to it after you know a few days so. is there was there a a, a a inspiration for the portrayal of this character because she doesn't put up with anything and I know you've always been strong-willed you've always been a, a strong personality uh so but I'm just curious, did you draw pull inspiration from anyone or anything in particular for Monet? Monet is every woman I know. I grew up with Monet. I'm from, you know, the inner cities, the projects. So I've seen Monet's and ghosts everywhere. This is why I'm such a huge power fan. And she's my mother, you know, she's, you know, a strong single parent mother trying to raise her children. She's the female drug dealers that I hung out with who didn't take anything. So, I mean, if this was I pulled everything from them and then my own life where I have to boss up and take care of my, my business as well. Like there's nobody taking care of Mary J. Blige, but Mary J. Blige. So there you go. <laughs> if I need a lawyer, Davis is the one I'm going to go to, but $500,000 just to talk, man, you're a little pricey. Hey, hey, it depends on what the crime is, brother. If you're looking at life or maybe even the death penalty, 500K is a small price to ask. I think Davis might actually be one of the more normal characters on this show. Am I right? I agree. I agree, especially with the mess that was made over six seasons with the original series. Oh, my God. You want to talk about great TV. So this takes place two days after that. So, you know, some of that chaos has to bleed into this season. We have Michael Rainey Jr. doing a terrific job as our new leading ghost. We have Tasha St. Patrick played by the marvelous Dottori Norton coming back and doing her thing, which is interesting because now it's a different kind of story arc for her. She's going through that transition of a woman being stripped of all her glamour and glitz and, you know, down to the bare essentials of who she really is and how does she handle that. Also, Shane Johnson. Cooper Sacks, the man everyone loves to hate, is back again. And I swear, a lot of my scenes are with this guy, and he chews up the scenery also, man. Great dude to work with. Uh, what does it feel like? Is there a lot of excitement joining? This is one of the most anticipated series, uh, you know, that's coming out. You've got to just be so excited to be a part of this cast now. I'm super excited. I mean, I can't even believe I'm a part of this world because, like I said, I'm a super power fan. And to be a part of the power world, like the universe, it's just, it's too much. It's too, (laughs) it's crazy. What is it like working with this cast? Uh, You included, I mean, Mary J. Blige, you've got Method Man, you've just got an incredible cast that you're working with. What is it like to work around those people? It's amazing, you know, like Method Man and and Mary J, like those are 
legends, like living legends. Like you walk into the room, you feel their star power, you feel their presence like off rip. So being around them and just having like that, that, that veteran, you know, knowledge around me and just having certain people there to guide me through certain things is just a blessing, especially, you know, met the man. He's definitely, he's definitely one that helped me a lot during, um, during filming this season because, you know, like he was always there just to make sure, you know, I was just good, you know, like even, not even me, just everybody on set, like if anyone just looked down or they just felt like a way, like as soon as Met the Man steps on set, he brings the energy up, like he's just, he just makes everyone, he's like an uplifting person. So you need, the, you need those type of people on set. So shout out to Met the Man. Has it been everything that you had hoped the acting experience would have been for you? I feel fulfilled, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, in the beginning was just toying around with it. Once I got serious about it and saw it for what it was, ah, it's a whole new different kind of love. It's a great second act for someone like me. Absolutely love it. Uh, is Descent is a uh, one of the executive producers on the project. Did he share a vision with you of what he was, you know, looking for? You know, the thing with 50 and Courtney, they allowed me so much creative freedom because when I sat and had the meetings with them, the meetings weren't about me. They were about my friends, the ones I grew up with. So I would tell them these stories about, you know, what, what went on and who these women were. And they were just like, you, you good, you got it. So they, there was no, she should be like this. She should be like that. I already knew who this character was and there she is. Like I said, like the first thing, the first thing I heard about the spinoff and I didn't even believe it. It was literally him. He was like, yo, you know, you're going to be, um, you know, you're going to be the leader of your own show soon. That was literally the first thing I, like I, I knew about it and I, and I didn't really like know about it because I didn't really believe him. But yeah, that was the first hint of everything. And then not too long after that, Courtney just told me and she, she kind of like laid down everything for me. It's just like, yo, this is crazy. Like, I, I can't believe this, you know? Filming this, like you're a really good lawyer. Davis is great. Did you have to learn like some of the legal speak? Did you, cause you, I mean, I'm, I was convinced you went to law school in real life. I'm like, this man knows what's going on. Tell me about getting ready for like the courtroom decor and all that. Uh, I attribute all that to the writing, but um, as far as preparation, um, I did a, uh, I, when I took my acting class, I did a scene with my scene partner from Philadelphia uh, with Denzel and Tom Hanks. I played the Denzel part, he played the Tom Hanks part. I think it kind of crazily prepared me for what I'm doing now, but my template to use for this character mainly was Johnny Cochran with a lot of Denzel. Has acting been everything that you had hoped and expected it to be for you? Yes, it has. And, and, and what I hoped and expected it to be is something that I can continue to learn from. And it's exactly that. Like it's, I continue to learn and, and that's what it's been. It's not something like I'm like super comfortable with. It's just, you get better as you focus and want to learn, but you, you, if you don't want to learn, you could just slide down, you know, to, you know, back backwards. So it's been a great learning curve for me. One of the highlights of my day today was uh, being able to uh, catch up with you, sir. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed this conversation. It's great mm -hmm. to see you again. Um, I, I, I'm just so excited to see you, man. Mr. Morales, you look great too, brother. Skin is on point. <laughs>